what's going on everybody it's patrick midton outdoors we are headed off-roading today that's right i'm going to meet up with bill and uh well, i'm not gonna tell you where we're going you've seen it before but we're going in a different direction so stay tuned and uh let's go do some wheeling for all that intro <laughs> guys we're here we're at Haley Road Prentice Cooper we're at the back side of it we're gonna go forward or go the back way through it there's the road all right so I'm gonna show you the line of Jeeps go all the way back there's actually one behind the red Jeep back there I'll put my finger down there's a red Jeep there's one behind it the red Jeep's the stalker of the bunch he has no lift no nothing they're gonna actually, I think, put him in the middle so that way we can kind of keep an eye on him and if anybody has to jump in and help him, we can. But anyway, Prentice Cooper, if you've never been here, it's got some neat stuff, neat hunting lands. So, it's a pretty place. Pretty, pretty place.
After wheeling for a little bit, we decided to stop and have us a little lunch. So we found us this little area. We had been here before and hiked out to the point. Um, I stayed behind just hang out with the Jeeps and stuff because there's, there's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, so we had lunch here and then we got back on the trail and went and discovered some new roads. Once we got on these new roads, and even on the Haley Road, we have noticed that the State Forestry Service has started clear cutting a bunch of stuff here lately. And actually, this has probably been done within the last year. But uh, we know the reason behind clear cutting is to regenerate the forest and make the forest grow back better. But it's just weird to see all the trees gone in certain areas and just little saplings growing, and that's it. So anyway, we know that it's to better the forest and have a healthier forest in the long run. But uh, also makes for some pretty cool views here and there. We jumped back on Haley Road um, for two reasons, to exit the park, and there is a challenging section that we drive past that we wanted to stick all the Jeeps on and see who was willing to try it. Okay, Bill has been up this section many, many times, and if you'll watch, he goes right up it without any spotter because he knows the line to take. And if you follow along with the zooming, you can see him just drive right up it and uh, disappears until he comes back down the other side. This is kind of a loop on this uh, little section here that you can take. And uh, you have a vertical climb here that can be challenging to certain Jeeps, but even the stock Jeep did it. But then coming back down, you have a V-notch that you have to ride down um, and always uh, danger of the v-notch is there's a possibility that the jeep, jeep could slip and end up in the notch and then you're on your side a little bit or are completely on your side so that's the whole challenging point of this particular area All right. 
Hey there, you're not taking it out, are you? Okay, so right here, as I've been editing the video, I realize how dusty the lens has gotten on the cameras. I am so glad I didn't take my DSLR on this. Uh, it was very dusty all day. The Jeep had coating of dust on the inside because we had no doors or top or anything. And anybody else uh, was in our situation. Had the same amount of dust in their Jeep, but my GoPros were just dusty as I'll get out when I got home. Hi, Doug. Hey, Bill. Which one? The great Jeep. Okay. Hey, Adam. I went up and told off this dude didn't even spin a tire, man. Just keep you line, you know. All right, we're about to end this trip out. We got a new driver behind Bill's Jeep. He's going to be driving the Jeep home. But we stopped at the Western Sizzling. On the way home, we just got through eating. Now we're going to head back towards Nashville. Had a great time. Trying to talk the fellows into getting some fireworks and we can have a Roman candle war on the way back home. We'll see. But here's what's left. Everybody did great. We had no problems, no issues. <laughs> so anyways, we will see you on the next one. Be prepared.